The FIA aren't done giving penalties after the United States Grand Prix. F1's governing body has slapped the circuit of the Americas with a massive 500,000 euro fine following the race. 200 fans spilled onto the track when the circuit was still live and several cars were still on their cooldown laps post-race, making for a dangerous situation and resulting in a big fine. Thanks for watching another GP Fans video. If you want to stay up to date with all the latest in the world of F1, here's a tip. Subscribe to this very channel and you won't miss a thing. If you can, please hit the like button as well. It helps us out massively. The FIA estimated that around 200 fans jumped down from the grandstand opposite the pit lane, then cleared several fences and barriers before running onto the track, probably to take position for the podium ceremony. The Cota owners will have to pay 150,000 euros now, and the other 350,000 euros are suspended until the end of 2026. That means they will not have to fork it over to the FIA just yet, but should another incident like this happen before the end of 2026 during any FIA event at the circuit, then the Texans will have to pay up. The FIA have also demanded that the organizers submit a remediation plan to explain how they will prevent this from happening again in the future. This is not the first time this has happened this season, by the way, as the Canadian Grand Prix faced exactly the same problem earlier this year. Mercedes team principal Toto Wolff has heavily hinted at the fact that the FIA would be biased in their decision-making in favor of Red Bull Racing when it comes to handing out, or not handing out, time penalties and fines. Max Verstappen was entangled in several overtakes that took cars off the track but was never punished, unlike George Russell, who was handed a five-second penalty during the US Grand Prix. Wolff was heard on the broadcast several times interacting with George Russell. The Austrian first called Russell's five-second penalty for forcing Valtteri Bottas off the track a quote total joke and gave a pointed response to Russell as well on the cooldown lap when the driver asked whether Max Verstappen got a penalty for his move at the start of the race. Quote, he didn't get a penalty and at the end Lando got a penalty for being forced off and overtaking on the outside. I guess it is a bit biased decision making. After the race, Wolf expanded on his comments when asked about it and again hinted that Red Bull Racing get different treatment and judgment from the FIA, comparing and contrasting Russell's penalty to Verstappen's several incidents. Quote, it is inconsistent. With Valtteri, it wasn't even a race. In the sprints, we saw a few of those incidents that were exactly the same and weren't penalized when racing for positions, real positions actually. So receiving that penalty is completely odd and bizarre. I think we know why, but I can't say that on television. Earlier today, we had a look at the driver standing, so let's now check out the Constructors' Championship, where things are getting very interesting both at the top and in midfield. McLaren are still top, but have conceded a single point to Red Bull, the difference now being 40 points at the top. The big winners are Ferrari, however, as they scored a whopping 55 points between the sprint and the Grand Prix. They are right behind Red Bull now and only 48 points behind McLaren and with five races to go, could still challenge for their first title since 2008. In midfield, Haas have taken sixth place in the standings off of V-Carb. Kevin Magnussen and Nico Hülkenberg combined for seven points in Haas's home race in the US and look favorites to keep that position to the end of the year. Sauber still remain pointless at the bottom after 19 Grand Prix weekends. That's it then for another GP Fans News video. If you've liked what you've seen, please subscribe and follow us in all the usual places. I'll be back tomorrow. See you then.